greetings you all in the precious name of our lord and savior jesus christ i thank the lord for giving us this opportunity to be here with you lord spoke to us through the word of god thank you for the guest we have got pastor sujit and the worship team i greet pastor wilson joseph the sunday school leaders teachers and my dear children the revival started is it not some spark started is it not have you got some spark it continue don't it, don't keep it here and go when he was speaking to the senior children pastor sujit was talking to you about many of you are practical situations you are facing that is the situation going on but the spirit of god spoke to you something he pointed out to you the spirit of god spoke to you so don't ignore that just i want to uh, limit with few minutes talk only just i want to point out one person when you go like him you should be happy just i want to point out one character from the bible and i want you to be happy like him when you go home how he went home like that i want you to also go home happily the person not somebody else on luke chapter 19 we can see a person when jesus was going through jericho you know who is the person there was a man named sakias which was the chief among the public against the tax collectors he was short the person was short right sakias was a short man while jesus was going he was not able to see him you know that story so what did what sakias did yes he was very short what he was doing jesus christ with the crowd moving around so he was running right running and what he did he climbs on the tree why did he climb on the tree what is the reason what was the purpose yes yeah he was short and he wanted to see jesus christ right he wanted he was trying standing and trying and seeing but not possible to see him so he ran far ahead and climbed the tree or tree and wanted to see jesus christ while he was passing when jesus christ was passing his place sakias he saw him right before sakias saw jesus christ jesus saw sakias on the tree and what he told him what sakias told him no the other way jesus christ what did he tell sakias oh the small one who is behind only he has got, he knows the story the seniors you don't know yes before sakias could see jesus jesus saw him asking him to come down sakias come down come down i want to stay with you i want to come to your house and stay with you and he was so happy he was he came down he came came down and when jesus came to the place looked up saw him said to him sakias come down for today i must abide at your house he was so happy he was going to be as a host and went to the south happily because jesus went with him to the south he was so happy and jesus said that this day onwards the salvation has come to the south and this is the because he is the son of abraham so the promise is there and i want you while you go like the sakias took jesus to his house the revival you got the spark you got i don't want you to keep it here and go you take jesus christ home 
do you want to take him to home how many of you want to take jesus christ to your house can you raise your hands everybody i am asking from everybody do you want him to come with you to home can you take jesus to your house can you yes he wanted to come with you do you agree for that yes as sakias he took the initiative he came down he was happy he told him uh, he he was totally changed and he told jesus christ that i give all my half of the portions i give to the poor people and if anything more i have taken i have i will give four times i want you dear children have a decision today have a commitment to god today not like before have a decision you need to have jesus christ not only while you, or your way to home or in your house how a place for jesus christ in your mind in your heart may you have to accept our christ as your jesus christ is it not haven't you accepted him as the your personal savior and jesus christ you take him home and not like before and like the sakias you should be happy you need to be happy that he is coming to your house are you happy that you are taking jesus christ to your house today are you be happy how was your today's retreat session today what did you gain from that one some games some afternoon special food some juice some worship session more than that i want you to have jesus christ in your mind i want you to have jesus christ on your way home i want you to have jesus christ in your house i want you to have jesus christ in your personal life take it as a decision take it as a challenge and with this session may god bless you for that one take jesus christ in your mind take jesus christ to your house as sakias was very happy you need to be very happy because you are not alone who is with you are you happy for that can you shout to the lord hallelujah once more once more may god bless you with this word and arranging for this session i appreciate the sunday school leaders and the teachers and the church authorities everybody uh, may god bless you all um, uh, appreciating all of you everybody and all all of you unless you have come this is not a success since all of you came here your parents brought you here they allowed you to come here i appreciate all of you and may god bless you and uh, thank you once again see once pastor sujith was talking about the asbury revival is it not you all know about the revival now asbury revival let that continue in our mind also the revival to go on you know why there is no revival in in our place you know why, what is the reason do you think of it why there is no revival among us or in, our, in among us because we know how to live, live without revival since we know to live without revival we are not having the revival so you if you have the interest if you have if you need to have the revival if you want revival you will have the revival the holy spirit will help you the only thing is that you need to have you ask for that you need to have the revival may god bless you continue the revival which you got the spark you got with the help of the holy spirit god bless you